that will come in your midst one of the signs of the last days that the lord jesus told us in matthew chapter 24 is deception that will come through false prophets and false teachers so the fourth point is stand against false teachings and false prophets that will come number 5 strengthen your faith now this applies to everybody strengthen your faith strengthen the things that are weak strengthen the things that will last for eternity the only thing that will last for eternity is your faith so strengthen your faith in good times when times of persecution comes you will not be able to attend a conference like this you may not even be able to attend your regular church meetings this bible may even be confiscated from you you know this is what happened in russia and china when you are deprived of all that all christian radio all christian tv stations barred all internet access barred what are you going to do you know in nations like iran in china they bar christian websites although not all many so the christians in those nations have no access to any christian materials on the internet so when that happens what are you going to do so strengthen the things strengthen your faith today so that when that comes you will be strong you will be bold number 6 guard your salvation because during times of persecution you will be tempted to give up your faith you will be tempted so guard your salvation so that you will endure till the end number 7 re establish your dependence on god this was a problem in the laodicea church they had everything they stopped depending on god they depended on their own selves you cast that away and re establish your dependence on god now these are the seven things that you need to do to get back to god in conclusion let me answer the question about your present referendum now on the 20 on the 19th of june now this was four days before this nation went for the referendum the 19th of june now till then i do not know all the complexities or the politics of brexit i only heard of the name brexit every now and then it pops up on the internet every now and then it pops up in the newspaper so all my knowledge about brexit is a referendum the nation is going to why they are going i didn't know Oh, I didn't bother to know. But on the 19th of June, when I was waiting on God, when the Lord gave me this word that I should bring to you during this conference, and this was what the Lord said about Brexit. He said, "The exit from EU is what is already written in Daniel chapter seven and chapter eight." is it's written in the scriptures thousands of years ago before you went to the polls on june the 23rd the decision that you made to exit is already written in the bible when they exit the eu they will be chastised by my love and restored back to my glory Now I want you to turn your Bibles to Deut- uh, to Daniel chapter seven. Now look at verse four. There it describes how you will be chastised. There is a chastisement for all the sins that have been committed in this nation. Before you can be restored back to glory, first there comes a chastisement. 
Daniel chapter 7 verse 4 the first now the series of visions that the prophet Daniel saw the first was like a lion and had eagles wings and I beheld till its wings were plucked and it was lifted up from the earth and made stand upon the feet as a man now although this spoke of the nation of Babylon in history concerning the end times this speaks about the Great Britain now the symbol of Great Britain is a lion and there you see this lion has eagle's wings during the great and mighty days of Great Britain it is said the Sun never sets in in the British Empire right so was you lifted up wings like an eagle and flew across conquering land after land after land so this is the this is your history now when you're chastised your wings are plucked now with all this threat of boycott that is coming from EU then you'll be out of this you'll be out of that all these threatenings and all the scare that's coming is what is written here the wings are plucked and it will be lifted up from the earth and made to stand upon the feet as a man now you stand on your own feet right when you do that now look at the next part this is where the restoration comes a man's heart was given to it a man's heart that fears God a man's heart that loves God a man's heart that follows us and do spiritual warfare that you are not pulled back by the devil that you miss your destiny second time you know you only get a second chance you don't get it a third time this is your second chance to run your race again and complete it well amen let's all stand up for a word of prayer Okay, let's pray now. Let's bring our heart and mind to one focus right now. Thank you, wonderful Lord Jesus. I see the Lord Jesus Christ standing before me right now. I see a wonderful angel with a trumpet in his mouth standing in the midst of this auditorium right now exactly in the center center aisle just behind where the cameraman is standing thank you wonderful Lord Jesus and I see several angels coming down walking down the right hand side of the aisle and they're walking down and so in the left hand aisle and they are taking up their place in this church let's be still and quiet thank you wonderful God this is what the Lord Jesus says 
my people you have heard the word that has been proclaimed to you set your heart to walk in my ways set your heart to obey my statutes and my commands for i am coming to redeem my own as the lord is speaking these words i also see something right now the devil has ducked the devil and his evil angel his servants false prophets suits witches lords have ducked up deep trenches in this land and hidden things of witchcraft hidden curses and things associated with witchcraft like covenants made with the devil buried in the heart of this country to destroy to pull and to uproot the call and the destiny of god upon this nation thank you wonderful god i see all the angels who are standing on the far right and left of the auditorium lifting up their swords right now and saying and signifying that the time has come for the church in this nation to rise up as a mighty army as a mighty warrior fully adorned with the full armor of god thank you wonderful jesus thank you wonderful jesus even the little children you know miss i see them adorned with the armor of god fully equipped with a helmet with a breastplate with a shield with a sword with a belt and the shoes fully dressed from head to toe in armor the all the little ones thank you wonderful god fast and pray take hold of me while it is still day for the night is coming when no man can work i am going to pour my mighty spirit upon this nation i am going to pour out my anointings the wings of my spirit upon this nation so terry as i spoke to my disciples to wait in jerusalem until they be endured with power on high i say to you wait wait pray earnestly yearn earnestly desire earnestly that you be endured with powers of the age to come thank you wonderful jesus and i see the lord jesus with a mighty sword in his hand going before the many ministers who now miss to anoint your eyes to open your eyes that you may see in the spirit that you may see what god is going to do in the spirit in your churches let the doors for prayer and praise remain open in your church day and night let the incense of prayer and praise rise up before my presence that i may flood your church with my glory and i see right now in a vision your church has been flooded with the glory light of god 
and the doors of your church been kept open and as a result of the doors been kept open the churches are flooded with a tangible light of the glory cloud of God restore my church back to me I see now the Lord Jesus passionately stretching out his hands to all the ministers here saying give me my church back to me give it back to me that I restore her and remake her after my image and my likeness thank you wonderful God Lord now I pray give these people a sign that you have truly spoken right now let the fear of the Almighty God descend upon them right now. Let their hearts and their minds be gripped with the fear of God. Let them tangibly feel it right now, Lord. Let the holy awe come upon them right now. sons back to me give my daughters back to me give your life back to me are you willing are you willing if you are willing you open your mouth and you talk to the Lord Jesus right now my daughter Give your life back to me. Put away your carnal nature. Put away your love for lust. Come back to me, my daughter. Come back to me. How many times I waited for you that you will come to meet me, but you ignored me. And you went away but I stood waiting for you with tears streaming down my eyes even now I'm stretching my hands towards you my beloved daughter come back come back turn your back to the things of the world that has trapped you that has enticed you that has caused you to be drunk that has caused you to become stupor come back recall the days how you walked with me how I had adorned you with my gifts didn't you see me didn't you see my glory didn't I lead you by my right hand but why have you so easily forgotten the Lord your God? I see the Lord Jesus Christ like a lion of Judah walking in our midst right now. He's walking in our midst like a lion. You talk to the Lord right now. You open your mouth. You talk to the Lord. There is one young man here. 
you are seated on the left section towards me you were called by god to serve him you gave your life to serve the lord you even did some ministry in your work in your church but soon after the cares of this world had choked your zeal and your love for god and you have soon forgotten your call and turn your back on god my dear son return back right now return back right now thank you wonderful lord jesus the lord jesus is standing before you my dear son with a sword in his hand to reinstate you back to your calling to your giftings come back right now come back right now you may not get another opportunity like this you may not get another opportunity return back return back thank you wonderful god thank you wonderful god speak to them lord speak to everyone who's humbling themselves before you lord everyone who's talking to you right now everyone who's convicted in their hearts everyone who's convicted in their minds lay down your success lay down the things that are so easily pulling you down lay it down lay down the things that are craving your attention that are causing you to walk away from god lay down the sins that are easily tripping you over the weaknesses of your flesh lay it down right now lay it down lay it down there are some people here you hardly touch your bible you don't even open your bible to read you are just living an existential life you are like how the church in sardis was alive but dead my dear people of god turn back right now turn back right now thank you wonderful lord jesus thank you wonderful lord jesus glorious jesus precious lord jesus holy father i have spoken to your children all the words that you should be now i pray lord let your children tangibly feel your presence within them beside them before them and upon them lord let them feel that you're standing right beside them right now let them feel that you have totally surely you have forgiven them that you have forgotten all the unrighteousness that you have removed them far away and you will remember them no more give them that assurance right now give them that assurance right now let a peace be an all understanding fill their hearts and their minds right now right now let a peace be on all understanding fill them fill them fill them flow all over them like waves waves of the waves coming all over them right now lord jesus i also pray let them be restored back to their callings let them be restored back to their giftings the gifts of the spirit that they had lost 
in the name of the Lord Jesus I now pray let them receive let them receive let them receive back right now right now right now in the name of the Lord Jesus I release that anointing upon them let them be restored let them be restored with the gifts of God let the spiritual eyes be open in the name of the Lord Jesus let the little ones in our knees I pray let their spiritual eyes be open lay your blessing hands upon every youth in the name of the Lord Jesus I pray let their spiritual eyes be open right now right now right now let them feel your hand touching them Lord let them tangibly feel the hand of the Lord coming upon their heads and touching them in the name of the Lord Jesus I pray for all the senior citizens who I know miss in Jesus name let their spiritual eyes be open right now let your anointing be poured out over them all over them right now right now Lord let it flow let it flow all over them thank you wonderful Lord Jesus thank you wonderful Lord Jesus I even pray right now Lord for every sickness every disease every physical infirmity in their bodies with your presence in our midst I now take authority over every sicknesses over every diseases over every spirits of infirmities in their bodies right now in the name of the Lord Jesus in the name of the Lord Jesus in the name of the Lord Jesus I rebuke the sicknesses I rebuke the diseases I command the spirits of infirmity to come out of them right now I command the sicknesses to depart from their bodies I command diseases to depart from their bodies in Jesus name I command every hereditary diseases infirmities be broken over their lives right now I command every generational curses be broken over their lives right now in the name of the Lord Jesus I command every witchcraft enchantment curses put our children in the name of Jesus be destroyed right now in the name of the Lord Jesus in the name of the Lord Jesus in the name of the Lord Jesus I command these captives be set free be free be free right now let your healing anointing Lord sweep all over this auditorium right now let it flow over every bodies let it flow over every minds let it flow over every souls let their souls be healed right now let their broken hearts be restored right now let their minds be restored to its former glory right now in the name of the Lord Jesus let your healing anointing flow all over their bodies right now Lord right now 
let them tangibly feel your anointing lord flowing all over their bodies thank you wonderful god oh you are a good god your grace and mercy endures forever and ever come on everybody lift up your holy hands and give thanks to god come on open your mouth and give thanks to god for all the good and wonderful things he has done in your midst right now he has spoken to you he has restored you back to his glory he has forgiven you of all your backslidings he has forgiven you of all your turnings away from him he has healed your bodies come on open your mouth and give thanks to god give thanks to god he has restored you back Bless the Lord oh my soul oh my soul worship his holy name sing like never before oh my soul i worship his holy name in ஆத்மே கத்தரை தூதி முழு உள்ள தொடு அவர் நாமத்தையே சோஸ்தரி கம் ஆன் லிஃப்ட் அப் யோர் ஹோலி ஹேண்ட்ஸ் பிளஸ் த லாட் ஓ மை சோ again lift up your voice and just bless him worship him bless the lord oh my soul and all that is within me 